Hi guys, today we are going to look out the Dark Lord S6 ROM, another S6 ROM for i9 500s4, 2.2 OG. It's also by the Almedro, but the main developer is Dark Lord or the or any other dark name, which has been made for the Note 3, but it's now been ported to the Galaxy S4 i9 500, also to i9 506 I think. Same as the Aurora, but more bugs and more features but I didn't like the system UI means the status bar I like the stock one more the system UI but the system UI is more smoother on this ROM over the brightness the ROM is same as the Aurora port but there are little changes in the smoothness fix the dark load settings app the settings does not uh, change that much in terms of uh, customization I don't know about it but we got the toolbox which is not present in the Aurora much smoother framework here but the battery backup is very low I have charged the phone 100% before half an hour and I didn't touch at all before reviewing this video and it's now 76 very poor also we have got a few more toggles the toolbox do not disturb no that's one present the touch intensity sensitivity sorry smart pause smart stay ready mode and other the download booster the edge screen is not that working still let's check it out again connect to my wifi edge lighting we can't check it right now people edge now it's working quite good no still not okay there it is let's add this contact there we get it In Aurora ROM, it was very hard to pull out that settings. Still, it is. Uh, it's now much easier. And the color saturation on this ROM is uh, very good compared to Aurora. I don't know why. Color adjustments. Smooth looping system here. Yeah. Let's see the information stream. It is not working. Let's try. In Aurora, it was partially working. When you press the home uh, home key, it was showing for a second. So let's check out the night lock. Whether it is working or not? No. Let me show you the screenshot for a second. Here it is. It worked for me for one time. As you can see, the night lock is working. For only one time on the Aurora ROM, not this ROM. And not much. Yes, we got the blotware from the S6, everything. The Google apps, the Microsoft apps. This ROM weighs over 1.3 GB, whereas the Aurora ROM, uh, ROM is only 800 MB. We got the S6 video player. But the video player UI is not working. Check out something. When you press it, the video star video app start uh, stops working. I have to check whether the Note 3 ported guide works. The ROM starts lagging. I don't know why, but after we unlock it, it's it is normal. It's still lagging. I don't know why. The home keys are not working also on this ROM. The themes working good. Let's enable this free trial one. The ROM is very fast, but the battery backup is poor. I love this thing. It's like iOS. It's very laggy right now. Yes, it's lagging very much. We got the latest apps from the 5.1.1. Let me give an example. 
the wallpaper motion effect let's enable this one to show you guys look at closely it moves not that much like iOS 7 it just wiggles around it's very minute effect I prefer you to close this effect to reserve some battery also in the camera app it's more buggy than the Aurora but the effects are working let us enable this tint let's say it's working also the HDR the effects are working good also the camera but the pro mode is causing some as we can see it crashed on the Broadway so it is that guys for the Aurora S6 uh, ROM not sorry the Dark Lord Access ROM on the Galaxy S4 it's pretty much like Aurora but more buggy and more smoothness and more plotware I don't know why the developer has kept this plotware to make it till 1.3 GB and the ROM is lagging like hell right now 5.0.2 S6 patch. Goodbye guys.